so now I will go to um, cart view right here because I already have some code for sending data right no need to reinvent the wheel if you don't have to yes mm -hmm. so this is the send data and the handle is out okay so pretty good so what I want now is to get from here delete item or this up to there and let me come to uh, check out the view itself so I'll put this, this stuff here so I'll say script there we go paste now I have two script tags here so I'll remove one and let's push everything back in there okay good now we don't want to delete an item so what I want is to get states like so and then I will have the ID in there then there's ID okay so get states this is the um, wait a minute what's going on here uh, send data type okay that's fine now we don't really need the data type here because we're just reading one thing here so but it's better to be future proof because in case we do send the data type in future we can put an if statement here and get different kinds of data from the same controller so just um, it's better to just add it there so get states send data so we're sending the data but we're sending it to ajax checkout mm -hmm. so we are sending the data type and also we are sending the data itself okay so data type is right there and one more thing there okay so which means we receive two things so let me come back here to ajax and that would be data underscore type comma like that okay so data type and the id okay so i want to see what result i will get so let me come back to the checkout view here make sure everything is cool and so this part here where type is equal to uh, get states that's the one right there now i don't want it to refresh the page so i'll mute these guys in fact i don't need this one for now just need that and the console.log is fine because i want to see what's in the console i think for now we are good to go that's all we needed to change now get states should be activated from an event so when i click on this i select a country it should actually try and find the state corresponding to that country but first of all i need to actually load the countries here now we don't need javascript for that so what i will do is go to the ajax checkout and get this the way it is like that copy that and i will go to the checkout page now that's the checkout controller where are you there we go so right here after I add the rows of the so I actually don't need all this because on the checkout we are actually not showing the items yeah so wait a minute wait a minute user data okay yeah so all this is not required actually from products unless you're going to display the products there so i'll leave it for now let me just um, do this let's add some comment here and say uh, get countries the reason we're getting the countries is because we need to display them so now data is being used here so what i will do is do that and say countries 
like so. Is equal to countries get not get states but get countries this time and then get countries doesn't uh, need anything there because if we go back to the class you see that it doesn't need anything okay very good so let's come back here now to the checkout view page right here where there are countries and I want to load the countries in here so I will remove all these other countries and let's put a few if statements over here, shall we? So PHP if is set, yes, countries, if that is set, or it might be set, but it might be equal to false. So and is array countries. So just to be sure. But of course, we need the dollar sign. Mm -hmm. So if that is true, then let's do an, a loop, shall we? Oops. Let's do a loop. PHP for each countries. Mm -hmm. Now the countries, we don't need the key. We just need the row of the country. And here I want to use my PHP, so I will put a. I want to use my HTML down here, so I don't want it to go into PHP mode at this point. So I'll do that, and then all I need now is to do. A, and if duplicate that, and for each like so okay so we are looping through and adding that so maybe you want to see this a bit more clearly like that so that's one option but we want to add more options here so here we'll have a row I want the ID here to be the value so value row ID now what the user will see is not the ID of the country, but the actual country name, row, country. And yet what will be sent as the value is the ID, like that. So let's refresh our page and see if we get, ooh, undefined variable db online 10. You don't say. So let's go to the class online 10 db is unknown and that's because we are using a small letter db version so let's change that there as well refresh call to undefined method read Ooh, where is that all right so whenever this kind of thing happens we know that there is uh, that read actually exists so so instead of get instance let's use a new instance instead new instance the other instance is tired apparently so refresh there we go it's working but doesn't seem to have loaded entirely so this is probably because there's an error somewhere right here on country so I will inspect the element, just to be sure. Let's go inside the select country. So nothing there, yes, nothing. Mm. But it seems to have stopped right there. So it seems that's where the problem is. So let's go back a moment here in the view. Let's try to figure this out. So none of this actually worked. So what I want to do is right before the select right here. I want to do that. Let's see what will happen now. Okay, so it's correct. There is some content there, right? 
countries, South Africa, Zambia. Okay, so this is a class and not an array. So that's where the problem is. Keep forgetting, keep forgetting. Okay, so if is set countries and is objects. Actually, I don't even need to check that. I can just do that. That should be enough. And let's put arrows instead, pointy, pointy things. Let's come back here again and do the same thing. Let's put a pointy thingy like that. That should do it. Refresh. Okay, so it seems uh, the code is happy. Click, and there we go. Looky there. Mm. Very nice.